from the Lee Richardson Zoo with an eco activity that you can do at home. So today we are making this nature wind chime that can show off some little pieces of nature that you find in your backyard or anywhere around your home. So let's figure out how to make this. So all you will need for this craft is the lid of some mason jars. Um, so you want to take out the middle piece, just have the circular lid here. So you want a few of those. And I'm using contact paper. So this is paper that's clear and has one sticky side. It also works with packing tape, or if you just have a uh, wax paper in the kitchen, you can use that and tape it together instead of having one side that's sticky. Any of those options work. And the other thing you will need is some string to tie around um, the little showcases and scissors to cut the things that we need. So other than those, what you will need to do is head outside and go collect the different things you want to show off in your wind chime. These can be flowers, leaves, anything that you find outside around your home. So let's go explore and see what we can find. So the best part of this craft is getting to go outside and explore. You can go into your yards, you can even go out to a park and just see what there is out there. You can put whatever you want into this wind chime. So if you like the look of some needles, the best thing to do is to check on the ground, see if any have fallen. But if you do need to, you can pluck a couple off. Just remember, we don't want to cause any harm to the plants that we are taking these from. So only take what you need. Got a couple. All right. And sometimes leaves can have different shapes. So if you want to show that, we have these which I think that one looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna take one of these little leaves and again, only taking what I need to use. We're, use. we're leaving the rest for the wildlife and other things in nature to use. All right, once you have found all the different leaves and flowers and whatever else you wanna portray in your nature wind chime, you just gotta find one more thing, a good sized stick that you can hang those different strings off of. Um, you probably only need it to be about a foot long and not super thick or anything, uh, but go out and find a stick and then head back inside and we will learn how exactly to make the full wind chime. Alrighty, so after we have gone out and collected all the nature -y things that we want to put in our wind chime, we can come back inside and start actually creating it. So you want to take your lid from the mason jar and it's easier if you start by just tying a pretty long piece of string or yarn around it. Um, so that's what you're going to be hanging from. And this just makes it easier so you don't have to poke a hole through the um, contact paper or tape or whatever you're using uh, once you uh, to get the actual flower or leaf or whatever you're putting into the circle. So once that's done, you're going to put the flatter part down on the table. And now we get to make the inside portion. So this is an orchid flower. Uh, I have an orchid growing at my own house so you can use house plants, go outside, collect different things. Um, but I'm gonna use this really cool flower to kind of demonstrate how we're making this. So I am going to go ahead and take the paper off of this side. And I like to start by putting the flower face down. Um, and you can kind of press it down against the tape um, or that sticky side. So you want it kind of flat. And then we are just going to fold over to the other side. 
If you have a little bit extra, that is okay. We can kind of trim around that. That is not a huge deal. Okay, and push it down real good. You want it, again, mostly flat. It's obviously not gonna be perfectly flat, but that's okay. And then we just take our scissors and snip off the portion we're not using. Okay, so that kind of gives you a flower um, kind of pressed in and saved. Now for this, once we have this part, we are going to place it face down into the lid. So just like this. So that when you see it through that circle, you can see the whole flower. And this is where we can take scissors again and just kind of trim off those excess edges that we don't necessarily want hanging out of the sides. And to finish it off, I will take a couple of smaller pieces, um, or kind of thin but long pieces of this to go across, and that's what's going to hold it in place. And this is the part, you can get it as creative as you want if you have a, a different way you'd rather kind of hold it onto um, the mason jar lid. That works, whatever works for you guys. Um, again, tape is a, another good option for this. I like to wrap it around the top just to get that extra connection there. And that is how you are going to make the hanging portions of your wind chime. So if you have a bunch of mason jar lids, you can make a bunch of these. If you only want to do two or three, totally fine. Again, you can make this whatever you want, whatever kind of plants, flowers, leaves you want in there. Um, but yeah, so that's how you make the inner portion or the colorful portion of what we will be hanging up. And now that we have made all of the hanging portions that we want with whatever little plants you want to show off. It's just time to attach them to the stick. So you just take that other end of the string and tie it to the top of the stick that you collected. And you can hang them at different lengths, different heights, um, closer together, further apart, whatever you want it to look like. And if you did this craft with us, we would love to see what you came up with and the different plants that you've decided to put into your wind chime. So if you joined us in this, grab a picture of what you made and send it to us at zoo.education at gardencityks.us. We would love to see what you're making with us. Thank you so much for joining us and we will see you again soon.